This episode brought to you by supportthesecond.com. Check out this free coin offer. The recent shootings, especially those in schools, is bringing about stricter gun reform bills. Congress has just passed the most significant gun reform bill we've seen in decades. But as we all know, bad guys will always have access to guns. Unfortunately for law-abiding citizens, the Second Amendment has never been more at risk of being infringed than this year. A new site is showing their support for the Second Amendment to create change, and you can get in on it too. The Support the Second Coin usually retails for $24.95, but it's currently free for a limited time to bring awareness to the issues affecting gun owners today. This coin has beautiful engravings on both sides, with one side stating in bold text, the Second Amendment is my gun permit. Carry it in your pocket, in your gear, or in your vehicle as a reminder of the freedom we have. If you're proud to be an American and proud of your gun rights, you'll love this Second Amendment coin. Get your free Second Amendment coin today by going to www.supportthesecond.com. That's www.supportthesecond.com. Support gun owners, gun rights, and the Second Amendment. I hate to say I told you so. For at least the last 20 years, I've been obsessed with this Democrat Party media partnership. How this would obviously lead to one party rule and the outlawing of any opposition to that party. Essentially, the Ingsoc Party in Orwell's 1984. That brings us to last night's FBI raid of Trump's home. Supposedly looking for classified documents that Trump was supposedly mishandling. What they don't tell you is that it's totally normal for a former president to have these kind of documents. They already knew knew he had these documents. It's nothing at all unusual. And just like that, we are one step closer to Orwell's nightmarish vision. You would think that Hillary Clinton would keep her mouth shut given her previous run-ins with the law. But no, instead she's actually flaunting the fact that she's above the law and trying to make money off it by selling merch. Now remember, Trump was allowed to have those documents. There's nothing unusual about it. Trump was the president, so he has that right. Hillary Clinton was never president. She had no right to host a private server where she kept classified and even top secret documents. Look here, straight from the FBI's website. From the group of 30,000 emails returned to the State Department, 110 emails and 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time that they were sent or received. Eight of those chains contained information that was top secret at the time they were sent. 36 email chains contained secret information at the time and eight contained confidential information none of which Hillary Clinton had any right to sounds like a crime to me remember what James Comey said to let Hillary off the hook he said that there was no intent to commit a crime and so when I look at the facts we gathered here as I said I see evidence of great carelessness but I do not see evidence that is sufficient to establish that Secretary Clinton or those with whom she was corresponding both talked about classified information on email and knew when they did it, they were doing something that was against the law. You wanna know what he said? It's almost exactly what he said. I couldn't believe it. He says, oh, oh, sorry, officer. I, I didn't know I couldn't do that. And worse than that, remember this memory hold detail? Somebody who is absolutely disqualified from becoming president. They destroyed blackberries with hammers in the State Department. That's not what won the president. Evan, 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 hold on. Can you the fact check that? Hang on, that hang on, 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 Evan Perez. Hammers, fact check that for me, please, on the fly. Uh, yes, they did, Brooke. Uh, as so. as, uh, <laughs> they as did. you mentioned, there were uh, 13 devices, mobile devices, and five iPads that uh, the FBI said that you know, in some way, were used with with her private email server. And they did, in some cases, just destroy them with hammers when they were done using them. But I do not see evidence that is sufficient to establish that Secretary Clinton or those with whom she was corresponding both talked about classified information on email and knew when they did it, they were doing something that was against the law. Was there any media uproar over that? Of course not. And in fact, they mocked the entire scandal as, but her emails, the exact same phrase that Hillary Clinton is now raising money off of. But now we're expected to just treat this all as if it's normal. First, they hatch a conspiracy theory using actual Russian disinformation, then lie to courts to get FISA warrants so they can spy on his campaign Campaign, investigating Trump using two corrupt, fiercely partisan FBI agents. Then, of course, the Mueller report finds no evidence of Russian collusion. That didn't work, so they impeach him. 
twice, partly based on their original lie. Then they start changing voting rules. Then they actively suppress stories that were damaging to Joe Biden, based on so-called intelligence experts who claimed it was Russian disinformation. <laughs> that was a lie. So far, the only actual Russian disinformation that was real was their pretext for the Russian collusion hoax to try and get Trump out of office. That finally worked to get him out of office, but then they started the January 6th kangaroo court, which has no prosecutorial power and is obviously just a big propaganda effort to save Democrats in the midterms and keep Trump from running in 2024. Since that's going nowhere, we now see the FBI raiding Trump's home, which breaks 250 years of precedence. And now we're seeing what they've stooped to when everything else has failed. Some people, me included, are worried that since all of these other options have failed for them, they'll now try assassination. Meanwhile, Joe Biden, who appears to have been brought back to life using the green stuff from Reanimator, continues to completely fall apart right in front of the cameras without any attention from the former fourth estate. Now our great speaker. Mm -hmm. Fundamental change is taking place today, politically, economically, and technologically. Change that can either strengthen our sense of control and security, of dignity and pride in our lives and our nation, or, or change that weakens us. Mm -hmm. <coughs> was hollowed out. We let semiconductor manufacturing go overseas. We barely produced 10% of the semiconductors. <coughs> Excuse me. Despite being the leader in chips design as well as research, driving up costs for families. <coughs> And everyone, not just here, but around the world. Mobiles. <laughs> hmm? And this is exactly why the Democrat state media is helping and supporting the government to take out their political foes. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.